October 9th. That's where it starts. Yo, there's a video. No, there's a commercial on right now. I'm going to have to skip the commercial and get right into this video. But before we do that, let me give some introduction. Let me give an introduction into what I'm doing here. I was just in um, the other room watching a video and I was inspired to make this video, a review video of uh, this experience. Now, it's not so much a review, but more so I want to add my two cents. And um, the story is this guy is traveling and he's going, he's flying Egypt Air. And um, for him, he's had a rough, the first experience, he had a rough experience. The second time he's uh, filming the, this, this uh, flight on Egypt Air because the first experience he didn't capture it he didn't document it but he said it was rough he, he probably experienced some um, racism and other things um to preface this video I want to talk about my experience on Egypt Air all right the year was 2017 I believe and um I was traveling the globe going from place to place and I hadn't been to Egypt yet um a friend of mine, childhood friend of mine, whom uh, we are friends and acquaintances on uh, Facebook. We stay in contact through Facebook. We have a number of uh, mutual friends or whatever. Anyhow, I saw that he flew Egypt Air. And I was like, well, dang, if he flew Egypt Air, Egypt Air must be pretty cool. He didn't have any, you know, poor experiences. It was just a flight, you know. It kind of got me outside of the idea that, um, there are certain airlines to trust and certain airlines not to trust. And certain, and for me, Egypt Air was one that was kind of iffy um, because I had never flown Egypt Air. But also because I don't know if it was a year or if it was a few months, but there had been an Egypt Air plane crash. And I was like, ooh, let's not fly Egypt Air. They, their planes are crashing or what have you. Um so that was my impression of Egypt Air. One of their planes crashed around the time, around 2017. It might have been 2016. It might have been 2015, but I still remembered the plane crash. But when my friend flew Egypt Air and had no problems, no issues, I figured, hey, I might as well, I can't rule Egypt Air out. He had a good experience. And, you know, it's sad that, you know, accidents happen, but we can't you know, presume, or we can't assume that a accidents, or, or rather, we can't assume that Egypt Air um, is accident prone, or we can't assume any uh, airlines is accident prone, therefore, we don't fly it, so that was the, um, that was my reckoning, so he had um, his, his experience, and then that bled over into my experience, I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a shot, which I did, and then, um, so, um, I had a good flight, pretty decent flight, no worries, no biggie, um, whatsoever. Um, I kind of got the sense when I, I remember, I distinctly remember this, <laughs> this happening on the flight, right? We were landing and the plane was swaying back and forth and it was like, okay, why is it swaying? Why isn't the, um, why, why doesn't the pilot have better control over his plane like I don't recall ever being on any other airlines and having a sway back and forth you know as we were landing so forth and so on even in through bad weather you know and so I was sitting there worried like oh dear please don't let anything you know happen as we we're swaying back and forth but I happened to look over to my left and I noticed another passenger who <laughs> was having the same idea, who thought the same thing. And he was like, what the heck is up with this plane moving back and forth? I don't know if he spoke English, but I know that he used this hand gesture while he was on the plane. He had a, a confused look on his face when I looked back at him and he just went, what's going on? Sort of like, what the heck is going on? And I was like, yeah, man, what the heck is going on with this flight? So I guess Egypt there for me is a nah, never again. Um, so that's my little tidbit. That's my little two cents. I wanted to add that before we get in, get into this video and we watch his experience. So let's get it. Hopefully there won't be many, um, videos, many commercials to interrupt us, but let's go back. I know you heard that announcement. It's your man, Jackson Cooper, AKA J Coop. We are on our way to Dar Salaam, Tanzania, but 
we are flying Egypt Air once again. And I had to get this on film because my last experience with Egypt Air was, uh, wasn't the best. I experienced some racism. I just heard a scream in the background. I think those were, that was, those were sound effects he added to the video. Uh, anywho, the video is already a, a minute and 40 seconds into it. He's giving his intro right now. Um, let's get back to the story. Sorry, I'm not starting from the very beginning. I'm starting here. I watched a little bit of it. If you want to watch the whole thing, go check it out. But let's check it out. We, we still have uh, 10 minutes of his video to watch. So let's get back into it, shall we? And I've been here since nine. So um, only the strong survive. If you get this video, that means that we made it. But we're going to see if Egypt Air can redeem themselves. There's the luggage right there. And yes, guys, I'm going to get back to you once we begin boarding. As you can see, the airport is pretty dead. Um, it is currently election night. I don't like dating videos like this, but but it's currently election night. This is some... This some I love uh, dating videos like this because you have to, you want to know the context. You want to get more information. And so much so, I wish like even some songs had been dated. Like if they would tell you the date, the time that it was recorded and all of that, that would have been sweet. But that's beside the point. All right, let's check him out. See how he's hanging in there. Doesn't leave until 12. Now I'm just making an observation. So don't shoot me, but... I am the only black person in line currently for Cairo. So as you can see, all right, I'm about to, I'm about to head over here now, guys. That part, being the only black person in line, that part, that's very important. I have this clip of um, Dion Cole. He posted it uh, recently where he's in a restaurant. He's the only black person um, in that restaurant. When you're a solo traveler, you know, like I've been, like he is, you know, like he is showing us and demonstrating in this video, it happens oftentimes we are not oftentimes we are all alone you know but anyway let's keep watching crazy yeah yeah <laughs> sorry sorry all right guys so austin who was helping me had a great attitude okay so before you say it jackson you weren't the only black person on the flight well this gentleman came after i made that statement and just because someone has the same skin color as you does not mean they have the same mindset. Let's be very clear. So I don't know what he could have thought. So that was a good start. Dude had a good attitude. Asked me if I want to upgrade my seat. So we're off to a good start. But it is time to board on Egypt Air all the way from Newark to Cairo to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Let's get it in, guys. Okay, guys. So we are now sitting down, ready to depart. All right, so I flew Egypt Air from uh, Saudi Arabia, from Dammam to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And then from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, I flew to Cairo. So I was just trying to show the comparison or, or show similarities. Like I flew into Cairo as well. As well. I mean, how else are you going to get into Egypt? Uh, you could probably fly into Alexandria, you know. Alexandria? Luxor? Where Luxor is? Uh, whatever. It's from 5 a.m. I believe until 9.30 p.m. But luckily, we're going to be doing some stuff in, in Cairo. That's going to be a completely different video. Uh, this should be very, very interesting, guys. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So stay tuned. Egypt Air, can you redeem yourself? We'll see. All right, guys, for the next scene. Peace. I rise and I wake and I gotta go get it. I'm making my bed and it's straight to the digits. No cup of jokers, they this is acidic. So I don't know about that music. Probably should cut that out. I don't. I mean, for for my video, I hope I don't get a uh, copyright strike or what have you. But for his video, he's got it. I don't know whose music that is, but anywho. You need to check out multi. -points. No, these commercials. They got me. They got me. All right, let's skip that and get back into the video. On YouTube, that's why I'm able to travel. Yeah. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. You seven G's on this side to your right. Thank you. Whatever you don't care, whatever you don't care, Mister. That's how I get. 
All right, guys, passing through first class area. Headed back further and further. Hit that like button so we could be sitting here, guys. That's the key. All right. Folks are looking at the camera. Still kind of strange, but that's what we expect. Standing. She stood right in his way. She was like, my conversation is more important than you getting to your seat right now. <laughs> that's what I read in that. She folded her arms and she was like, what? Oh, well, okay, he's walking in. Oh, but I got to, I think I'm on like the edge though. So that's cool. I'm on the edge, but I'm in the middle. So I'm trying to see what's going on. All right. We are way back here, guys. Way back here. Okay, 47. Oh, you cannot tell. Mm. No. Uh, it's not I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can't film? No, you cannot film at all. Not the airline can. So, guys, they told me I couldn't film. They said you can't film on this airline. <laughs> I'm already sensing the racism. So, I'm going to just have my phone out. And um, we're just going to play it like that. So racism I, I get it you're the other he, they othered him they're going to be um they're going to be more uh aggressive and more um upfront with someone who's not like them now in the case the one criticism that i do have about this is bro if you had said if you had assumed that they were muslim first off and then said assalamu alaikum you know and, and presented yourself like that maybe they would have been like a little cooler or uh, maybe 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 i'm just saying i'm just saying but when I travel, you know, to Muslim countries, I don't often offer the assalamu alaikum because the 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 supposition is that you are Muslim if you say that. And some Muslims and people who are not, I don't know, it's it's a little tricky, it's a little iffy. I've been told don't say assalamu alaikum if you're not a Muslim. I've been told that. So, which I'm like, come on now. That's just a greeting. It's like saying good morning, good good afternoon. You know? So anyway, let's get back to his video. But I have to be honest, completely honest, when reviewing Egypt Air. And if anyone's had issues with Egypt Air, let your voices be heard. I'm not scared to make videos and call out people on their racism. Are you? Okay guys, so I just got my breakfast. Once again, she gave me this extra late on purpose. Everybody else got theirs. And I got mine late. I'm gonna delve in deeper why I got mine later, but don't fly Egypt Air if you're black. These are facts. Also, if you're a US citizen, you do need a visa when coming to Egypt. I was there for a layover, so I had to get one on arrival for 25 US dollars. All right, guys, made it to Cairo. That was a heck of a flight, man, so. I put like B-roll in it to let you guys know that I'm <laughs> We're gonna talk about it. We are gonna talk about this. Okay, now the brother is wearing a Jesus piece. I mean, that could also, you know, be a sign that hey, he's not Muslim, and then they could have also been like, oh, we're gonna treat you different. I'm I'm just I'm trying to guess. I'm just trying to guess, you know. But the brother got his food late, you know. They were, the woman was 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 hit him with the X. Nope, you can't do that. And yeah, it's interesting when you're othered like that. When you're different from the others and you're treated, you're told that you have to do things a certain way, as if you you couldn't even think or or use your common sense, you know, to just you know figure it out. Yeah, that's that's uncool. Get it through uh the customs i literally have a book bag and this right i'm seeing people go through with mass luggage i'm talking about like two things of luggage they stop me <laughs> now egypt air is the cheapest option when you're flying to africa but it's better to spend that extra money man do not come here i'm over this place already but this is just a layover <laughs> to get to where i need to go yo I completely agree with you, brother. You know, spend that extra dough. You know, don't go the cheapest route. 
you know, it's true. You get what you pay for. And international trips like these, whoo, bro. Yeah. Everything. It's very, very strange. But that's my review on Egypt Air. I'd rather fly on the wing of a spirit <laughs> flight, the wing of it, on like the outside of the plane, than fly Egypt Air ever again. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'm going to keep flying, baby. Till next time. Peace. Right. A bird's in the in the airport. <laughs> Yo. Hey, look at this. I've been cleaning out my nest and I found an old book. What have we here? You're at 109 right now.